Hello, and welcome. Here we are, back here in the house, but as you can see, I've got some materials. Uh, didn't get any comments on what people thought, but I'm more concerned less about how it looks as a ceiling, which I've raised the walls up, by the way, using the uh, same pattern. But I'm more concerned about how it looks as a floor more than how it looks as a ceiling, and I realize that's on the wrong level. Now, uh, as a ceiling, personally I think that one looks better, but check out my staircase, yeah. And I'm probably going to have a basement too, so I've decided that this is a good place for a stairwell. As a floor, see I like that as a floor because it contrasts really well with the walls, but as a ceiling I'm not quite so sure because of the wood floor I have down here. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the nether brick anyhow. Uh, I do have plenty of stone made up, but I didn't turn all of it into stone bricks just in case I didn't like how the stone turned out. Uh, I can always use it. I could do different rooms with different floors or something. I don't know. Build something out of it. But for the time being... See, here's all the uh, the stone. Which, I'm, gonna, I'm leaving it in that format mostly because of the fact that it's uh, really good for making repeaters and buttons I'm probably not going to need all of this but you know what there's no there's no kill like overkill and so I am going completely overkill making sure I have enough and if I run out I'm going to be very sad I hope I have enough light down in there. And I apologize. I've, I've been doing these recordings early in the morning, which is kind of a dumb idea. Because it's generally shortly after I woke up. But, um... Oh, it's partly because of the fact that the Halloween event for APB starts today. And I'm going to be on it pretty much from the time it comes out. Because uh, they're going to have to bring down the servers and patch them. And I wanted to make sure I could get this out before that happened. Because I... <laughs> Here's the big problem. A lot of the people I play with, especially one in particular... Y you know him. He's in the videos. My APB videos. Uh, he's pretty much around as much as I am, because getting jobs is hard. So, yeah, generally he gets on, we start up a Skype conversation at the beginning of the day, and then pretty much play APB all day, sometimes new people get added to the conversation, people leave, this and that, and basically I end up spending the entire day playing APB with people. And... Unfortunately, I have this problem where, you know, especially if there's only one person left, I'm not just going to, you know, leave and leave them to play by themselves. I will stick around until they don't want to be there anymore. And that happened the other day. I was awake till 4 in the clock in the morning because of it. But somehow staying awake till 4 o'clock in the morning reset my sleep schedule back to decent times. Because I just woke up, and it's 6 o'clock in the morning, so that's that's actually pretty acceptable. You guys may or may not care about how things are, but I told you anyhow. Because it's something to talk about, and the tea has not kicked in yet. So in case you're wondering, it's just a regular black tea. Uh, there is green tea. I haven't drank the green tea yet. I only save it for last. 
And I haven't really played... I built the walls, and then I kept myself logged out. Because I didn't want to... I, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no light on top of those walls. And I didn't want a creeper to spawn and then jump down at me. Because in hard mode... Oh, speaking of which... Uh... 1.4.2! Official release is out today. Which is one of the primary reasons why I really, really wanted to get done today. I need to put windows in this house. You know what? I'm going to add that to the list of things that I'm going to do. Um, I suppose there's one necessity for that, though. I went back to the... Uh, uh, where I have my branch mine, where I found that, uh, thing. I'd gotten more sandstone, that's where I'd got all the sandstone to raise the walls. Uh, picked up a little bit of sand. Let's just throw it in here. That way it'll keep building while we're building the upper floor. I guess me, but I'm gonna go with we. Because... Because I said so. And you're gonna like it. Uh, screw it. I'll worry about that later, and I will just build the ceiling part of this room. Hmm. See, if it wasn't for that right there, I think a set of, like, nether brick stairs along the whole upper rim of it would look pretty interesting. But, unfortunately... I didn't account for that. I mean, I could technically have it come to a break here. I wonder if I could create a corner stair if I tried. And if it would stay after I broke the stair that it linked to. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe I should speed this up. Maybe. Actually, speeding it up, I have not found a good way to do that with Virtual Dub yet. Because I'm kind of Virtual Dub time lapse retarded. And I haven't looked into it hard enough to really figure it out. Like, I know how to actually change the FPS of the video. But unfortunately, I don't know how to basically up-convert it. So, you know, I can make a 15 FPS video, but I end up with the problem of... You can't link, you know, two things like that, and it won't up-convert one of the videos. It'll just give you an error saying, they're not of the same frame rate, screw off! And there isn't really anything I can... Well, there's probably something I can do about it, but I don't know what it is. And as for getting a real uh, graphics program, I like the codec I'm using now. And Sony Vegas doesn't, like, any time I've ever tried, it, it just doesn't have MP3 support anymore, it seems like. So, I like using the MP3 format because it's small, it keeps the audio size down on my videos, and it doesn't really, you know, hurt quality to use it. So, like, a 30-minute video, only, like, maybe 40 megs of the data is from the audio. So, I can basically get my upload sizes really low. Which, a smaller upload size means a faster upload, which means I can get stuff onto YouTube quicker. Because my upload of my internet is kind of crap. I've only got a 2 megabit upload. And no, not 2 megabytes per second. 2 megabits, which is like 200k per second. So, yeah. I have... Something. 
Well, there goes that statement out the window. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope you guys don't mind watching me build. If you don't want to watch me keep building this floor, it's in a completely repetitive process and I probably should be skipping, you might want to consider skipping this episode. Um, I have looked into more about the witches. Which, uh, apparently they throw potions at you and have a low chance of dropping potions, which is interesting. Um, yeah, but I haven't actually seen one. Which makes me actually wonder if they actually do spawn. Here we go. That should be enough lighting to keep the uh, the the upper part of the walls, which I'm not sure I'm gonna do the roof on this place yet. Uh, I was thinking about making it flat, kind of look more like a desert home. You know, as if I'm not gonna get snow, which technically, because I'm not in a snow biome, I'm gonna get snow, and I wouldn't have to worry about weight of snow anyhow. And I'm gonna have to light up the roof regardless, except for if I do it perfectly flat, then I can just coat the whole thing in half slabs and not need to light it. My alchemy room is kind of incomplete because I don't have any nether wart, which is kind of annoying, to say the least. I used a lot more nether brick on this than I thought I would. Good thing I annihilated a large section of the fortress. Still a flat surface where I took it from. Another brick flat surface. So it can still spawn uh, wither skeletons and blazes. But it's a lot flatter than it started with. I stole its walls. Uh, if you remember the room where I found the the lava, the little lava cube that like sp how they spawn in fortresses, I stole its walls. And I had also taken some of the, uh, one of the little towery bits with the stairways. I tore it down. Completely. There is now a cobblestone stairway up where it used to be. It's not even actually stairs, it's just blocks built in a stair formation. So, yeah. And I've been eating baked potatoes to survive because they are surprisingly effective. Whether or not, uh, well, I don't know if they're really cost effective in relation to steak, for example, because I know they provide less food, but man, are they a lot more easily productible than steak. Speaking of which, I do have cows in my place, but I haven't been breeding them. I do have wheat in the box down there. So that's cool. Uh, speaking of APB, by the way, the release of the Asylum District temporarily for Halloween... Uh, Greg kind of was like, you should do an extra long special. So, there may end up being like a two, one or two hour long episode of us just playing in Fight Club. I may cut it into several parts and upload it over the course of a few days. Because uploading like an hour in one day would be a little excessive. Especially considering it would probably take me at least an hour to convert. Which would suck. But, 
I'm gonna need to make rooms up here. How's it look from down here? It doesn't look that bad. Uh, stairs. Oh. That's my response to that. Do I? Yes. Okay, so I got these with one of these here. Got one of these here. I will put one of them here. Oops. These here. Stair. Stair. screwy lighting, I like it. Well, it's not the lighting, it's the way this cuts off now. For corner stairs. Hmm. I like it. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, actually, if I'm gonna do that, I should put regular sandstone there. I'm gonna put the chisel wood here and here so you can still see them. And then it also keeps the same same general pattern as that, but it turns them into looking like kind of actual pillars, I guess. Uh, let's, it. let's try it here. That will do. I could probably take those other stairs out of there now and it would still look fine. I'm not so sure about that. We are, however, going to... I guess I'll offload this extra nether brick that I have in my inventory. Offload the sandstone... Oh, that's not the sandstone box. Sandstone and stairs. Where'd the wood come from? Whatever. I remember where it came from. And glass. I think I will put one here and here. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this, and you may have noticed it already. I changed the glass so it would be clear. Uh, it's basically just a downsized version of my texture pack that I had used, and the same with the chests. These are the chests from my texture pack, but I used paint.net and I downsized them so they don't look actually they still look pretty detailed but as you can tell they're darker than normal wood because I didn't have the separate uh, non stenciled version basically that I had done to it so the end result was in short Oh no! Screw off. The end result, in short, was that, uh. Yeah, it's darker than the normal wood, so. But whatever. I didn't like how chests looked before, so I wanted to do something about it, and so I did. That's not really much of a view, no, is it? Uh, I'm not going to 
worry about over there. Let's try two bigger windows. Do 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 do. Oh, glass is so much clearer when it's see-through. Don't need a window there, and don't need a window there, because I'm still going to have bookshelves in there. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to put windows in uh, up here yet, because I don't know how the rooms are going to be configured. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. Um, definitely, and I was thinking about what I could do with that, uh, the upper levels in there, I could actually put up, uh, basically the melon farms, uh, primarily only pumpkin at the moment, you know, farms that don't require me to replant them, if I do them right, which seemed like a valid solution to me. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the lighting for this floor. Hmm. Hmm. I've got redstone. I've got glowstone. Make me some lamps. And I'm going to need some levers. That's great. Make a bunch of them. Why not? Lamps and levers. So, I think I'm going to put a lamp in each corner. Like so. Oops. Oh, now look what I've done. I think I'm going to do it with those two. I'll show you what I mean with that in a second. I'm losing wood, but I don't want to go after it. Okay. Basically, the inner or outer corners of the regular wood bits. That's where I'm going to put these lamps. Right here in the center, I'm going to do two of them. Oh no! Now, the real question is, how much light does that actually give to the room? Is there any dark spots? Uh, the lighting is technically coming from the floor, so I think the floor here is 10, technically. This right here would theoretically be the darkest place, I guess with the torches out there. Oh, it might help if I remove the torches on the ground, huh? Uh, yeah. Definitely going to want one there. Uh... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. For the sake of symmetry, put it here as well.
Where else is it dark? Here? Yeah. Um. Fortunately, for the sake of symmetry, this would have to be double. Like so. I have two more lights. And not enough levers. Uh, well, screw it. Let's put them in front of the door. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted that dirt there. Um, uh, maybe I should place them on this side for good measure. Uh, is that good? Ooh. Uh... There's a few places that seem a little bit dark, but hopefully it'll be okay. I gotta remember it's also the head I'm looking from, but I mean right, oh, see right here, block light 7. It might be 8 on the floor, though. Uh, That'll have to stand the test of time before I figure that out. But this has been going on long enough. I'm gonna place I'm gonna place some more torches in here. Looks really dark now that it has a roof. There we go. How dark is it in here anyhow? Eight? Ooh. That makes it seven on the floor. Uh, problem solved. Mm. Yeah, there's no, like, theoretical middle point in here. Because it's an uneven area. So I can't even do, like, an even design. Like, I could, I could probably rip out the middle there and put just four lamps there, but I don't want to deprive myself of any of my 10 billion furnaces that I can't even see if they're running. So, I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that, but for now, I think we're uh, good, and... This is going to bother me if I don't do it. I did it to the uh, the colon stuff, if you remember, but I've got to do it here just because I want things to look neat and tidy. I mean, clearly if I go out and farm... Sandstone, fill up real quick, it won't matter, but that's not the point here. Anyhow, for now, like I said, this is, uh, this is good. Hopefully nothing spawns in here, otherwise I might have to tweak some things. But uh, we got some nice windows. Finally got at least an upper floor, even if it's so not so much uh, a full house yet. Oh, speaking of which... I think we should go have a look-see from the outside, uh, namely over by the barn. And I like how the light just kind of bleeds out of there like that. That looks cool. Okay, so... Um... I feel as though I should have built the roof of that out of something else. I don't know, maybe I'll come back to it build it out of wood? Because I really can't make out that there's actually even a roof on that thing barely from here. But, uh... That is definitely a big enough house. I'm not going to need more than two stories, so I got... I, I'm sure of that. But, uh, feel free to throw some ideas for a roof at me. And, Because, uh, I mean, the alternative is probably just a half-slab roof. That that's pretty much what I'll probably end up doing if nobody gives me any responses, which I may do it out of wood. But uh, for now, 
calling this the end. See you guys next time. Have a good day.